What is the best food for your parrot? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond. I also wrote a novel, Cake by the Ocean. I'm working on another novel. Um, and finally, I am the bringer to you of Tink's Parrot Relief. Stick around and we're going to talk about what the best food is for your parrot. So here's the thing. I'm really kind of on the fence with what the best food is for your parrot. On the one hand, your parrot needs to make sure that they get enough vitamin A, especially if you have an African Grey. On the other hand, your parrot, it doesn't matter what you're feeding them, if they aren't getting UV and UV light because you have them indoors, even having them by a window doesn't usually work. In that case, they can be calcium deficient and have problems even if you are giving them a really good diet and you feel like there's enough calcium in there. Your parrots also need, there's another vitamin, it's A, oh, and it's calcium. I think those are the big ones. So one of the tricks with the calcium, especially if you have a smaller bird, is that when your parrot eats seeds, it prevents the absorption of calcium. So you have something preventing that calcium, plus if they don't have direct access to UV and UV light, which means sunlight, then, then you're in trouble and you have a kitty tail in the way. No, don't bite me. Ah. Okay, so that means that some of the most important things also are beta carotene. So that means we need to make sure we're hitting some vitamin A, we need to make sure that we're hitting some calcium, and some sunlight, we need to make sure that they're getting some beta carotene. But if you were to research, like I did, the list of vitamins and minerals your parrot needs, you'd need a scroll like they had in the days of yore, and like this big long scroll, and the scroll would fall onto the ground like it does in the movies and roll up the door. Seriously, I'm exaggerating, but I'm not exaggerating the fact that it is a long list. It's a little intimidating. Mm some extent, I kind of sit there and go, how do the pelleted foods even hit this list? Now, pellets are supposed to be a really good essential part of a parrot's diet. Predators are not. <laughs> do you think my Amazon would eat the cat? She certainly ate the dog's butt. She bit our chihuahua. Uh, pellets, let's get back. Pellets are supposed to be really healthy. I have like all of the, the veterinarians that I've ever visited um, have all asked what my parrot's diet is. Okay, you're making the parrot nervous and a nervous parrot is a beak gone amuck around my face. Uh, and every one of the vets that I have been to and all together there's been what, four, five? Um, and my experts, they all say that pellets are just the core to your healthy parrot's diet. And they say, in addition to that, you have to have those vegetables, I agree, but the pellets. You know, if you look at the ingredients, some of the ingredients are gonna be corn, just like it is in the cat food, which made my cat diabetic, and therefore my cat no longer gets regular cat food. Now, this monster, <laughs> this predator, rawr, he gets um, a no grain canned food and we are reducing the insulin. Now, I understand because I, I'm going, oh my God, can parents get diabetes? And apparently the answer is no. I know, don't go down to the cat, stay with me. But a parrot can get bad bones, like her. A parrot can get fat in their arteries, like her. And because I adopted her as an adult, I don't know her history, I don't know her past, my vet's guess is that she was kept in a small cage, didn't get exercise, didn't open her wings, and um, yeah. was fed a seed-based diet. So we brought Lorenza back, <laughs> that was a tongue twister, back from the brink of death, but it was with pellets and eggs. You know, all my experts say don't give too many eggs, they have cholesterol, and then all of the yeah health gurus that I listen to say, 
you know what? Eggs have really gotten a really bad rap about cholesterol, but we're mis, you know, we've misunderstood cholesterol. We're changing our mind about cholesterol. Eggs have everything in them that your body needs except vitamin C. So I'm sitting there going, okay, then are eggs not evil? Because the old wives tales in my uh, family, like the grandmother who's passed away, she used to say that eggs were really good for you. And I'm going, hmm, maybe that's more true than you think. So when you look at the ingredients on some of the pellets, you're going to see on some of the pellets that I think are, are well, they're, they're thought of as perfectly fine. They're, you know, I mean, when I say I'm feeding these brands, my experts are like, that's fine. That's great. That's great. Keep feeding that. You have healthy birds. And the ingredients are corn, soy, and then wheat. And I'm kind of going like sugar, soy, you know, we have research, like there's research being done on soy and they're not so sure that soy is good. I'm on the fence. And then wheat, I, I think is fine, but corn is a fruit and it's a heavy carb. Um, and when it's the first ingredient, that means like the one thing there's the most of, and that means there could be 90% corn, which I doubt, but you know, or there, it could just be like what they have the most of, right? And then the second ingredient, soy. No, I don't think I want to give my parents soy. And the wheat's fine, but like I'm sitting there going, you know, look, if you look at the food pyramid and you're like, we need to eat these things in the food pyramid, like where's the parrot pyramid? What do they need? And honestly, I don't have an answer to that. And so frankly, today's video is a little also to try to get you to tell me what you think, what you've learned, maybe what your research has showed you, maybe what you've heard from your experts. I, I don't ever weigh hearsay very much like my neighbor said, because like, I don't know if your neighbor, you know, rubbed a magic eight ball on the eight ball's head. <laughs> Wouldn't that be kind of fun? <laughs> this parrot <laughs> eight ball. <laughs> and it says, today your parrot will bite you. <laughs> today your parrot will eat pellets. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I also want to know what this magic eight ball, the magic parrot eight ball would say. Um, you know, you look into it, you shake it, and it casts your future or your parrot's future. Today your parrot is going to eat the kitchen cabinets. <laughs> if they haven't already. So now this is turning into a video with a cat instead of my parrot. But anyway, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the kitty land, kitty land. Today, your parrot will look like a cat. That's what my magic eight ball says. All right, um, well, I'm getting kisses, so <laughs> I'll take them. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Um, so I keep having this same conversation with my husband. Am I feeding the best foods? Should I switch to a higher quality pellet food? Mm. Especially because the brands that have carrot, soy, wheat, one or two more ingredients later, they have sugar. And so it is possible that the corn and the sugar are like making them hyper and causing tantrums. I mean, not really, I'm exaggerating, but it's not off the table. It's possible. Just like you don't want to give a five-year-old, you know, like five candy bars. I, you know, something with basically sugar in two ingredients in the top five ingredients, I think they were. Uh, you know, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. Now, if you look at some of the more higher uh, ingredient brands, they're going to be brown rice and... <clears throat> what was it? Alfalfa leaf and millet. Now, millet's interesting because one of my experts says that millet is kind of like junk food. They use it. Well, they didn't say that, but they said they, it's used to help the parrot lose weight. My research says that millet has like calcium and all these other good minerals in them. And I'm sitting here going, you know, it sounds like a healthy thing to me. I, I'm confused. And based on being one of the top ingredients in one of the brands, like I'm going, hmm, and that was in Bird Tricks. Like their pellets don't look bad. And then I looked at tops to kind of compare and they didn't have the millet, but it was the same. 
the same basic ingredients, sort of in different, you know, in different places on the list. She thinks it's all right. So, um, do I think that's better? Like, what do I think about those ingredients? Well, um, the brown rice, you know, it's a, it's still a carb, it's a grain. And I just kind of keep going back to what would parrots eat in the wild? What is the pyramid, parrot pyramid food group? And I don't know that. And honestly, I'm not saying my experts don't know. I'm saying I haven't ever asked my experts what is in nature, what's that pyramid? What would they be eating? Because in nature, they're not going to be eating millet. They're not going to be eating corn. They're not going to be eating brown rice all the time. I that means that they aren't getting a natural diet. Now, you and I don't really get a natural diet. So, you know, I'm never going to replicate what's really going on in nature. But uh, you and I vary our diet. Today, you, you at lunch, you probably said, what do I feel like having for lunch? Unless you had to take your lunch with you to work or something. But you know what I mean. And the whole point is you just don't eat the same thing. Well, we do. We have eggs for breakfast, and then we have vegetables and some meat for lunch. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe you eat the same thing. Uh, when we go out to eat, my mom's always like, let me guess what you got. You got a salad. I'm like, yeah, I did. So, mm, you know, how do you find that good balance? Now, Bird Trick touts on their website that... Their um, customer service manager or someone like that who takes the phone calls for the orders said that she's just amazed at how many people say that their birds on the pellets that they they make and sell, uh, they're amazed at how their birds are so much more quiet and well behaved. I, I'm not saying I don't believe that. I would, I kind of want to test that. It's like, really? That's interesting if it's true. Because birds are loud. Like, I don't think you should expect your bird to get quieter. And you know, like that's a little, on the other hand, they don't have the corn and sugar. So maybe there's something to be said for that. So what do you do? As in, what does one do? And as in, what do you do? Please tell me. First of all, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's good juice for my video. And uh, if you know me, welcome. <laughs> Um, I always mean to start my videos with a welcome. So let me know what you think makes for a nice healthy diet for your parrot. But like I said, what I'm basically doing is I'm making sure that they have a balance and that way they have more than one thing, right? They have the pellets, they have their vegetables, and then if they're a nut eater, they've got their nuts or even my seed eaters, I've kind of cut back right now because it's summer and I'm making sure that we're having a change. So let me know, and I would love to hear what kind of pellets you use and what you think of them, because I'm also doing some research into pellets. Thanks for joining me in this blissful video. Uh, if you have any questions about parrots, please be sure to comment below, and we will catch you next time Lorenza gets replaced by my cat.